Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and <clears throat> thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, March the 20th. It's the second week in Lent, and week four in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 72, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 6 through 18. And join me now in singing verse 4 of part 2, or the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honors shall we rear? Almighty Maker to your Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. Psalm 72, and please recite it with me. Give the ruler your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the ruler's son. And your ruler shall judge your people with righteousness, and your poor with justice. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills bring righteousness. Your ruler shall judge the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy, and shall break the oppressor into pieces. Your ruler shall live as long as the sun and moon endure, throughout all generations. Your ruler shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. And in his days the righteous shall flourish, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endures. And your ruler shall have dominion from sea to sea and from the river unto the ends of the earth. And they that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The rulers of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring gifts. The rulers of Sheba and Seba shall offer tribute. Yes, all nations shall fall down before your ruler. All nations shall serve him. For your ruler shall deliver the needy when they cry, and the poor that have no helper. Your ruler shall spare the poor and shall save the lives of the needy. Your ruler shall redeem their souls from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And your ruler shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba, and prayer shall be made for him continually, and daily shall he be praised. There shall be a handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit will shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like the grass of the earth. Your ruler's name shall endure forever. His name shall last as long as the sun. And all people shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call your ruler blessed. Blessed be God most high, the God of Israel, who does wondrous things. <clears throat> and blessed be God's glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with God's glory. Amen and amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 3, beginning at verse 6, a call to repentance. Yahweh said to me in the days of King Josiah, Have you seen what she did, that faithless one, Israel? How she went up on every high hill and under every green tree and played the whore there. And I thought after she had done all this, she will return to me, but she did not return. And her false sister Judah saw it. She saw that for all the adulteries of the faithless one, Israel, I had sent her away with a decree of divorce. And yet her false sister Judah did not fear, but she too went and played the whore. And because she took her whoredom so lightly, she polluted the land, 
committing adultery with stone and tree. Yet for all this, her false sister Judah did not return to me with her whole heart, but only in pretense, says the Most High. And then the Most High said to me, Faithless Israel has shown herself less guilty than false Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, O faithless Israel, says Yahweh. I will not look on you in anger, for I am merciful. I will not be angry forever. Only acknowledge your guilt, that you have rebelled against Yahweh your God, and scattered your favors among strangers under every green tree, and have not obeyed my voice, says the Most High. Return, O faithless children, says Yahweh, for I am your master. I will take you one from a city and two from a family, and I will bring you to Zion. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. And when you have multiplied and increased in the land in those days, says the Most High, they shall no longer say, The Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh. It shall not come to mind or be remembered or missed, nor shall another one be made. At that time, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of Yahweh, and all the nations shall gather to it, to the presence of Yahweh in Jerusalem. And they shall no longer stubbornly follow their own evil will. In those days, the house of Judah shall join the house of Israel. And together they shall come from the land of the north to the land that I gave your ancestors for a heritage. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, lead us in the ways of justice and truth, that peace may flourish in our days. Soften our hearts that we may have compassion on all your children, especially the poor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And may Almighty God shine his face upon us, be merciful to us and bless us, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.